In digital photography and videography, what's the real difference between 8-bit color, 10-bit color, and 16-bit color? Almost everyone who tries to explain this says something like, with 8-bit images you have 16 million colors, and with 10-bit images you have 1 billion colors. I think this is a really dumb way of putting it, because you're like, if there are all these extra colors, how come I can't even see the difference when I'm looking at an 8-bit video versus a 10-bit video? What other colors could there possibly be than the ones I see in regular photos and videos? What 8-bit or 10-bit or 16-bit really means is how many levels of brightness there are in between full black and full white. Or to be more accurate, full black and full red, green, or blue for each of the RGB components of every pixel. 8-bit images give you 256 levels of brightness to choose from between full black and full white whereas 10-bit color gives you 1,024 different levels of brightness. To see how this works visually, let's look at a more simple example of the difference between 2-bit color and 4-bit color. And the exact same principles apply to 8-bit versus 10-bit versus 16-bit. On the left, we see that with two bits to work with, where each bit can be a 0 or a 1, there are only four different combinations these two bits can make which means they can only represent four different numbers corresponding to four different levels of brightness. On the right, we can see that by adding two more bits, there are four times as many different combinations possible. So they can represent four times as many different numbers, or levels of brightness. The maximum value of each of these represent the same full brightness, and the minimum value of each represent the same black, but there are many more in-between values when I have those extra two bits. A smoother ramp of colors makes more accurate, more editable images. While you may not be able to see those extra levels of brightness in an unedited photo or video, once you start color correcting, and especially adding something like contrast, they can really make or break your images. Take for example these two images I have open in camera bag of a sky gradient. The one on the left is in 8-bit color, and the one on the right is in 16-bit color. Unedited, they look basically identical. But if I add contrast, in this case a lot, to make it clear what's going on, you can start to see banding in the 8-bit image, especially if I zoom in to a 400% zoom level. If I copy and paste this exact same contrast adjustment over to the 16-bit image, and zoom to that exact same 400% zoom level, you can see that the gradients are still super smooth. This is because there were many more in-between values in the pixels to start with. This is really the main benefit of RAW photos. They have so many more in-between levels of brightness that you can edit them heavily without that ugly banding. In video, these extra bits are especially necessary when working with log footage, which is recorded in a logarithmically compressed dynamic range so that it captures more details in the shadows and highlights. Unedited log footage thus looks flat and colorless, so you need to add contrast back in and post. If you did that with 8-bit footage and added contrast in and post, you'd see horrible banding. But in 10-bit or higher video, you can still add contrast and do all kinds of other color corrections, and the gradients from shadows to highlights still look smooth and beautiful. Your files may be roughly 25% larger when you bump up from 8-bit to 10-bit for video, but it's totally worth it if you plan to go back and do any editing later. Thank you.